As Barbados holds its general elections this Wednesday, let's take a look at how elections are carried out in the country and the parties that are outstanding candidates. Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley announced this snap election on December 27th of uh, 2021, just weeks after the country became a republic. The decision to hold early elections comes as Motley enjoys a high approval rating and in the midst of plans to redraft the country's constitution in the wake of a transition to a republic last year. According to the constitution of Barbados, elections must take place no later than every five years from the first seating of parliament. The previous general elections were held on May 24 of 2018 and the first seating of a new session of parliament was held on June 5, 2018. A total of 108 candidates from seven political parties and nine independents will contest the elections. The Barbados Labour Party founded in 1938 and the Democratic Labour Party founded in 1955 are the main political parties in the country. The two have alternated in power since independence in 1966, with the Democratic Labour Party holding office 1966 to 1976. From 1986 to 1994, and from January 20, 2008 to 2018. Meanwhile, the Barbados Labour Party governed from 1976 to 1986 from 1994 to 2008 and has formed a government from 2018 to the present day. Leading the Barbados Labour Party is current Prime Minister Mia Amor Modley, who is seeking re-election. Rivals for the post are Verla de la Pieza, leading the Democratic Labour Party and the former leader of the opposition in the House of Assembly, Justice Adley, representing the recently formed Alliance Party for Progress an electoral alliance between the People's Party for Democracy and Development and the United Progressive Party. The 30 members of the House of Assembly are elected by first-past-the-post voting in single-member constituencies. All Barbadians 18 years of age or older are eligible to vote. Over 266,000 Barbadians are registered to vote this Wednesday. Turnout election is usually above 60% of the electorate. The Electoral and Boundaries Commission is responsible for the registration of voters, conduct of elections, and the delineation of constituency boundaries. Barbados is divided into 30 electoral districts or constituencies. Over the past two weekends, the Electoral and Boundaries Commission completed its training of over 3,500 electoral officials to operate within the pandemic adhering to all COVID protocols outlined by the COVID Monitoring Unit for voting day.